go back and talk about um, our surprise to see that your agency is overspending its budget by more than $100 million this year. Again, surprised because uh, the governor's office signed off on the amount of spending for your agency as a result of last year's budget negotiations. Um, can you help me to understand what happened? Um, in your previous response, you indicated that $10.5 million of that overspend was related to medically assisted treatment. Um, that leaves approximately $90 million. Can you elaborate on um, what happened there? Um, you know, was your agreed to budget number just the wrong number? Did you have costs that came up after that number was set? Right, as I mentioned, the 7.1 million was based on parole, and um, the okay. Um, so we're with that. Correct. We're up to about 80, 80 17, some. 18. Yep. Okay. And so some of that, I believe, it was about four million was in the uh, on some unexpected utility cost increases, and I don't know if you want to expand a little bit on that. Um, also, uh, we're looking at an increase in food of about 15 million dollars. Um, in addition, uh, maintenance costs. Uh, about $15 million that includes visa projects at several of the facilities. We have uh, a great deal of job order contracts uh, for things like roofs and uh, sewer systems. Uh, so it's really a lot of infrastructure repairs. Um, in addition, we it's do- Unanticipated infrastructure repairs or just repairs that you had anticipated that you had cost overruns on? Um, some repairs were anticipated. We do have- uh, some emergency JOC projects uh, where, where, say for instance, a roof uh, has been on our non-recurring maintenance planning for the last couple of years, uh, nearing the end of life, and, and we could not you know, wait any longer to fund it. So we have quite uh, a lot of projects of that nature at our different facilities that we plan for, but sometimes uh, you know, the funding is not quite there to get it all done. And the most significant funding is in personnel. Um, and it was about $79 million to cover personnel costs over time, filled personnel. So issues. was that due to uh, overtime? That's factored into that, correct. Okay. Uh, you know, look, I, I think we all understand how important it is for our agencies to live within their means, especially when those numbers have been agreed to by the governor's office, um, especially with operating appropriations. So, again, um, these were the numbers that the administration agreed to, but were now not enough. Is that correct? Correct. So is this going to be an annual thing that we agree on a number, we build it into the budget, and then a few months later you come back and ask for more funding? And here's my concern, right? So you're one department. If every department right. um, overspends their budget by $100 million, we're into billions of dollars of overspend. Is this going to be an annual thing, or can we take it to the bank that um, what um, you're requesting is going to be actually what you would spend, or what is agreed to by the governor is actually going to be what you spend? Well, I think, I hope that we are in a better spot for next year's budget. We know now that the federal funding isn't there for MAT, so we have to budget for that. Um, we know that what we have to budget in for personnel increases, for contractual agreements. Um, so yes, I would hope that this is not going to be, that I'm not sitting here next year saying the same thing. But that's understandable. Um, I, I agree. I, I, I hope understand that you're that. not here next year yeah. saying the same thing. So in, in that response, you indicated that the department was relying on prior year dollars or, or federal funding to offset costs in last year's budget? That was for the MAT. That was only for yes. MAT. Okay. And again, so now that those federal funds are Correct. no longer available, um, that is reflected in this yes. budget? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Um, thank you very much, Madam Secretary. Thank, thank you. you, Mr. Chairman. And if I could just quickly add, um, I'm going to have an opportunity to go to Capitol Hill in April, and this will absolutely be one of the topics that I discuss with our federal leaders um, on Capitol Hill regarding medication-assisted treatment. Well, I certainly think that there's value and importance with medically assisted treatment, and certainly if we can reduce those costs, um, we want everyone to get the treatment that they need. Agreed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator.